Weightlifting House is officially streaming the Asian Championships 2022, and you can get your ticket right now at the link down below. Over the last 20 years, the sway of dominance within weightlifting has drifted from Europe, particularly Eastern Europe, further east into Asia. The Soviet sort of stronghold bred phenomenal weightlifters, but then since its collapse, Asian countries have devoted immense amounts of resources to talent identification, to coaching, and just general training resources. And as a result, they command almost all of the attention internationally and take with them the golden spoils of competition. Of the current 45 world records, 37 of them are from Asian weightlifters. Broken up by sex, that's 17 of the men's 25 world records and 20 out of 20, 100% of all women's world records are held within Asia. In the Tokyo Olympics, 11 out of 14 gold medals came from Asia, and at the 2021 World Championships, 13 out of the 20 gold medals came from Asia. And that was without even Team China competing. And good news, Team China will be sending a full team to the 2022 Asian Championships this year. We don't know exactly who will be making up that team, but it will be their first competition internationally since the Olympic Games over one year ago. And Weightlifting House, true to our mission statement of bringing the sport closer to its fans, has secured streaming rights for this monumental event. Let me talk really quickly about what we're offering and then let's look at some of the countries competing. Some incredible transfer news. Yes, athletes have switched country recently and a few of my top picks to watch at this competition. So, Weightlifting House has secured the exclusive rights to stream to every single country outside of Asia, which for those of you who have been in the sport for a while like me will know is just incredible. For years the Asian Championships have basically been as competitive as the World Championships and even more competitive than the Olympic Games because Team China could actually send a full team. And yet we've never been able to watch it. It's existed within a kind of black hole of weightlifting competition. This is the first official time that you can purchase the actual stream of the Asian Championships. Every single A session exclusively from Weightlifting House. With, and again, this is huge for the Asian Championships, English commentary provided by the most iconic duo in weightlifting. It's me and the one and only Max Ata. So that's every single A session in HD from the 2022 Asian Weightlifting Championships live from Manama, Bahrain, October 8th to the 16th, available to watch live and on demand. So that means if you can't make a particularly exciting session, then you can log into your account after the session and watch the whole thing as many times as you want at your own convenience. And every session is going to be available on demand until the end of November, so you can rewatch until your heart's content. For the European Championships a few months ago, we only managed to secure a small handful of countries. But this time, we have the entire globe minus Asia. Which means if you're currently watching this and you aren't currently in Asia, then you can buy the pay-per-view. Let's take a quick look at some of the big countries competing that we can really start to get excited about. Now, China as mentioned, are sending a full team, likely someone in probably every single weight category. Whether it's old faces or new faces, I still kind of expect world records, and I'm excited to see Team China always. Then there's Uzbekistan, who, as you all know, I have somewhat of an obsession with at the moment because they are so amazing, and they're sending a very large team too. So that means Olympic champion Ruslan Nurudinov and my current favorite weightlifter, Akbar Jiraev, to name but a few. Kazakhstan will be sending a team, so we'll see the front squat machine, Artyom Andropov. We'll see three-time world champion Zofia Chinchanlo. Taiwan is sending a full team of superstars. Saudi Arabia, South Korea, including everyone's favorite world champion, Shin Rock, and also Jin Yun Song, the snatch machine. Then there's Iran, who is sending one of the largest teams at this competition, including world champions and junior world record holders, you will be pleased to know that the big boy himself, Ali Davoudi, who we haven't actually seen since he took the silver medal at the Olympic Games, is also returning to compete. There's Qatar, 
aka Olympic champion Misa Sona. Philippines is Olympic champion Heidelin Diaz. India, Thailand, Indonesia, who I'm actually almost most excited for Indonesia, having seen who's turning up. Uh, we have four-time Olympic medalist, world champion, clean and jerk world record holder, Eki Yuli Irawa, and he's going to be in the 61s. But also Rizki Junian Sia, who's coming off the back of two junior world championships gold medals. He's that 73 kilo lifter, you might remember, who had a 200 kilo clean and jerk in training. It's two kilos over Shi Ziyong's world record, and he did it when he was 18. Uh, so he's going to be in phenomenal shape. He's certainly threatening world records. He also hit 194 kilos in competition. That's four kilos below Shi Ziyong's world record. And then also there's Olympic medalist and the world champion from 2021 in the 73s, Abdullah Rahmat, who's going to be moving up to the 81s. And of course, there are plenty more countries from Asia who are going to be competing at this championships. But that leads me to my final country that I want to talk about, which will sort of start off the section where we talk about battles and incredible athletes to watch. And it's Bahrain, the country that is hosting this incredible competition. So why do I want to talk about Bahrain all of a sudden? Well, Bahrain has just secured two new athletes. One of them is a world record holding world champion. The other is one of the greatest snatchers ever. We have 96 kilo snatch world record holder, Lesman Paredes, and holder of the second heaviest snatch of all time, Gormanassian, both now on team Bahrain. Now this is incredibly exciting for several reasons, but first it's worth mentioning that this is not uncommon. It happens in other sports perhaps more, but even in weightlifting, this is not so irregular. You know, Stefan Botev moved to Australia in the 90s. Jabba Saeed Salem, previously Yanni Machkov, moved to Qatar in the 2000s. Recently at the European Championships, we saw David Fischer, now Fischer Rov, having moved to Bulgaria and he became a European champion. And the reasons that this excites me are probably twofold. If Lesma Paredes had stayed in Colombia, he would have been in a fierce battle with Jonathan Rivas for the Colombian 102 kilo Olympic slot for 2024. Potentially with neither of them going because they have such a strong team in the lighter categories. And it's worth remembering that countries only get to send three men and three women to the Olympics from now on. And it would have been the same with Gorman Asim from Armenia, because he would have had to have competed against his prior teammate, Verazdat Lalian, for the slot. But now, we'll get to see both. The second reason, and this is the reason that sort of comes from me being a fan of the sport, is I love seeing uncommon battles, battles that you don't expect to see. We have athletes changing categories, but also shifting continent. We get to see one-on-ones that we really only talk about on the podcast or in the gym with our friends. With Akbar Jiraev now bulked up to the super heavyweight category, can you imagine seeing Akbar Jiraev versus Gorman Asian? I can see Gorman Asian winning the snatch and then he forces Akbar Jiraev to have to take a 250 kilo clean and jerk for the gold medal or something like that. You throw the Iranians into the mix and then suddenly the super heavyweights in Asia just becomes this incredibly exciting session. Likewise, we're going to see Lesman Paredes back up against those he dethroned at Worlds. Will he attempt a new snatch world record again? Will he move up to the 102s or will he stay at 96? We just don't know. Similarly with Miso up at 102 kilos and then previous Olympic champion Ruslan Nurudinov now down to 102 kilos. It's a battle between two Olympic champions we just never thought that we would see before. And again with Miso, he's so strong in the clean and jerk. Give him an extra six kilos of body weight and what's he going to do? mid-30s, high-30s, can Ruslan hold on? Ruslan's a better snatcher, but his snatch is dropping down, he's coming down in body weight. These battles are unlike anything we've seen before. We also have the return of Heidelin Diaz from the Philippines, the only weightlifter in the world to dethrone one of the Chinese athletes from the Olympic Games. Her performance was potentially the most iconic and certainly became the most mainstream at the Olympics. And she's coming off the back of an insane 127 kilo clean and jerk and that Olympic gold medal. She's a three-time world medalist. She's a two-time Olympic medalist. And we get to see her back in action again. And if you've been keeping up with her training on her Instagram, she actually looks to be in pretty good shape. Then there's the Thai 45 kilo world champion, Suk Taroan Tanyathon, who will be up in the 49 kilo category and have to compete against whichever of the Chinese sensations are selected to go and take that gold medal. 
it's going to be on a whole other level and it's going to be available exclusively through weightlifting house every single a session in hd both live and on demand never done before for the asian championships and there's a link to buy your ticket right now so please go and do so you can also pick up the media pack that will have all of the information that max and i have access to as the commentary team plus some more sort of competition info and history. Some of these sessions are just truly goddamn historic. Team China, Akbar Jiraev up against the now Bahrainian Gormanassian. Snatch Sensation, Lesman Perez, Heidelin Diaz, Miso, Taiwan, Iran, Kazakhstan. You don't want to miss it. Much like with most major international competitions these days, the Asian Championships could easily be mistaken for the World Championships, or even the Olympic Games. You can get your tickets now for the Asian Weightlifting Championships 2022 at Weightlifting House, October 8th to 6th. There's a link down below. Let's go make history.